blue. How do we play this piece? Um, as y'all can probably tell, this is an earlier piece of banjo music, I'm, I'm convinced. It's, it has an extremely simple, repetitive rhythm, um, which and it's really stuck around. It's really widespread piece of music, you know, which withstood the test of time uh, and space. <laughs> So all you got to do is get your banjo in standard tuning, and uh, it's just a... So you do a hammer on your bass string, open to the second. And then you're going to pull off on your third string at the second fret. And then you're going to slide on the third string from your second fret to your third fret. And then back to the bass string. And then pluck the, th the third string again. Then you're going to slide, I like to slide from the third to the second. That's it. It's a real standard piece. Nothing to it. So the second part um, it, that I do is I, I slide on my second string. I take it up high, I go from the second string. From the, um, on the second string, I go from the second fret to the third fret. And then I'm going to play that string open. And then I'm going to slide my third string from the third fret to the second fret. Then play it open. Okay. And then back to the original phrase. End it on that sliding back up to the second fret. That's all you gotta do. Had an old dog, his name was Blue. Come on, Blue, you good dog again. All them pretty gals gathered round. Didn't have a penny to go around. And then there's that little goofy part that I'm trying to sound like dogs. All I'm doing is just doing doubling my slides from the second to the third and from the third back up to the second. This kind of sounds like a little dog yipping to me. And this is a, a it's such an easy song. It's a great opportunity for you to really practice your slides. I have had people ask me sometimes like how I get you know the slides to sound the way that I do. One way I do that is I really ride the fret. I ride the hump of that fret. If it's on a fretted banjo, see how I'm really riding that hump back and forth. So really drag it out to make it sound smoother. Um, the, uh, the other tip, if you're on a fretless banjo, then you kind of want to do the opposite. You want to make big, long, sweeping slides. You want to make these big, long, sweeping slides on fretless. But that is a topic for another video. originally learned that piece of music from the recording of Dink Roberts. I think Cecilia Conway made that recording in the 1970s. So Dink was a great old banjo player that lived in the Piedmont of North Carolina and uh, 
he was uh, grew up in in uh, sort of the, the remnant of the the black banjo scene that was around there. Dink was was black himself, um, and so he was pretty pretty interesting. Uh, I just highly recommend if you if you want to hear more stuff like this, you have got to look up um, that album, the Black Banjo Songsters of North Carolina and Virginia. It's a Smithsonian Folkways album. You got to get that album, and you'll find this and Dink Roberts and lots of other musicians that are just as good. <laughs>